G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. Spawning in on the west side of the map in the color yellow, playing as the Ottomans, it's Feichan. And on the east side of the map in the color pink, playing as the Holy Roman Empire, it is give you anxiety. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dry Arabia. We're here on the best map in the world, once again, for the best matchup in the game. Well, not really the best matchup, but I'll tell you what, it's got an Ottoman player. I'm excited for it. You guys are excited for it. Are we going to see it again? Is it going to be the Fast Imperial? It's been taking over the rank ladder recently. I'm not even kidding you, right? I was watching Beastie's stream literally yesterday, and he did a Fast Imperial with the Ottomans. I wish I could be casting that game for you guys right now, but unfortunately, his account is is uh, it's blocked. Uh, so I can't cast him, uh, but I tell you what, it, he, he did the fast Imperial. It's it's taken over. It's it's going big leagues right now. So it, it's an exciting time to be an Ottoman main. If you haven't already jumped on the hype wagon or the, the hype train, get over on here, baby, because we are not stopping at any station except Conqueror 3 stations. Uh, so everybody, please be aboard. Anyway, welcome. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? A little bit of a long intro. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video if you do enjoy this Age of Empires 4 content. I tell you what, I'm excited about this matchup because traditionally this matchup was a bit of an interesting one um, before, I would say before the Fast Imperial meta, just because you had these kind of clashing styles, right? Like you had the Holy Roman Empire that's super duper fast, want to get up to the uh, Castle Age as quickly as they can and take the relics off the map. That's the first thing that they're thinking about. And so as an Ottoman player, you look at that and you're like, well, my military schools aren't going to be online until at least when you're in Castle Age. So now I've got to make the 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 interesting, or not the interesting, but like the, the curious decision. Okay, do I try and stick to a feudal style play? Or do I just go castle myself? And what we saw Ottoman players beginning to do, Ms. Marine Lord was in particular one who pioneered this approach, was they just went fast castle themselves. And they just said, well, I, you know, you've got prelates. I'm just going to take my mom's. And that seemed quite well, seemed quite successful. Uh, he did he did pretty well with that strategy. I remember he went straight into crossbows up against a Burgrave once. I think he just went straight into crossbow spear against some knights. So it, it was pretty cool. But we do see now on the south side, or southeast side of the map, we've got ourselves a Arkham Chapel or an, an Arkham Chapel coming down here. Goldmine wasn't really an option for him. This is a this is probably one of the worst Holy Roman Empire spawns that I have seen. I think one of the the saving graces here is that this stone is spawned in this position and, and not somewhere over here because it could have been in no man's land. But overall, you got to give this Arkan Chapel probably about a five out of ten uh, for overall Arkans. But I mean, realistically, his positioning on the Arkan it's probably the best that it could have been, right? Like it's it's not going to get better than this, and that that's a sad state of affairs right there for GUA. So, tough spawn for him. If anything, it does favor the 2TC style. Now, I, I, one thing to note about this matchup, if we do see fast Imperials coming out, I think that we're in largely uncharted lands or waters but, but, uh, because of that. Um, just mainly because the fast Imperial is really like, it's, it's quite hot at the moment. You know, not many people have gotten their hands dirty with it just yet. So I'm hoping Faye is going to be doing it today. But one of the things that, that has been theorized, I, I saw a whole bunch of comments on my most recent video where I was giving you guys the, the 212 or the, the what, what, what's it called? The, the 101 on the uh, the Fast Imperial strategy. And a lot of people were saying like, pros will never use this, blah, blah, blah. Well, pros used it within 24 hours. I'm not, uh, and I don't mean to say that, you know, Be Beastie watched my video and did it. I, I think that just going Imperial as Ottomans is good old fun. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you meme, sometimes you dream. But th the point is, uh, I saw another comment in there that said uh, words to the effect of Holy Roman Empire fast Imperial should destroy this because they like to do it. They get access to a really good um, landmark, obviously that being the... Um, Oh, gosh, I, I've drawn a blank. Apologies. They're a really good Imperial landmark. I, I keep going to the... Yeah, it's the Regnitz. Regnitz Cathedral? <laughs> I'm going Ark and Chapel, Regnitz. <laughs> I, why can I not think of it? Is this... Hey, if I'm if I'm not forget, If I'm not remembering a name of a landmark, that's that's got to be long COVID. There's nothing else about it. It's, it's not because I haven't played the Holy Roman Empire in three months' time and I've forgotten the name of the brr, the printer. Now, I'm remembering it. It's it's coming to me. It, it's going to come to me. Uh... It's the Berg, dude, I'm literally Ellsback. I can tell you the Ellsback. I can tell you the Burgrave, the Ark, and the mine work. Why can't I remember the Palace of Swabia? 
It's the Palace of Swabia. Okay. <laughs> God, I was a bit worried right there. Apologies to all you guys. Uh, but yeah, they've got uh, the Palace of Swabia, which obviously does really well in the late game. That's what we were talking about. We were talking about why Holy Roman Empire should do well here. They've got the Swabia in the late game. They've also got the Culverin. And I think that's the big thing, right? You need to shut down the Great Bombard. If you don't shut down the Great Bombard, it's not going to go well for you. But interestingly, we already begin to see developments early on here. GUA opening up with the early archery range as the Ottomans and adding in a barracks as well. This is typical GUA style where he just loves to go for the 1-1-1. One, one, one. He is the man who pioneered this strategy. One, one archery range, one barracks, one stable. Just likes to go absolutely everything 1-1-1. One, one, one. But opening with the archers obviously does very well against that spearman that we've seen early on here by Faye. We'll ride on board with her and see how she's doing as she begins her approach for this and can i just compliment on this deer push absolutely marvelous deer push you can see how far away she was that she's managed to push this into the town center or into the twin minaret madressa we also now have in the base an archery range coming up for Faye, right underneath that tc of course got the blacksmith here was looking uh to try and get that military school in but doesn't have the resources for it anymore because she spent it all from that archery range and which is going to be a, an appropriate move considering the defense that she needs to put on right now and i think that's quite smart and whoa look at this an early meta going to be coming out from Faye. really nice moves going into the fast meta there saves you a lot of space and means that you don't have to get that stable damn it now you're gonna be careful Faye might be losing a villager here we can see one of them gonna be looking to try and escape down to nine health looks like it won't be the case though that that villager gets taken out oh that is a risky move Faye. i think you're moving the wrong vill let's have a look and see what option she goes for she's got two options at this stage actually you got three options but i mean you don't really want to go into the meta if you've already got a meta with 15 seconds going look at ga pumping out numbers early on i thought we were going to see ourselves some fast imperials this game <sighs> How disappointed I am to see these feudal fights happening. What is it? GUA, did you not get the memo about everyone going fast Imperial these days? Faye clearly was going for it. And you're just over here ruining her day. And I've got to say, I don't like it, mate. I don't like it. It's only the 1-1 one, one at the moment. Where is that 1-1-1? One, one, one? That's the real question. I, sometimes I say 1-1 one, one and I'm th I think I'm playing a little bit too much StarCraft. But nope, that is not the case today. There's just no, there's, there's no last one over here. Another house for GUA getting thrown down. It looks like he's going to be moving out to take the hunt. Hasn't picked up that survival techniques just yet. And uh, interestingly, doesn't have any additional prelates despite moving all those villagers out. Really good control here from GUA. Have a look at this. Gold. Uh, berries. Deer at the front. Well, for the moment, yeah, we'll allow it. But, uh, well, actually, no. You can have one of those as well. Uh, he's doing a great job of just locking Faye out of these resources. So Faye going to have a tough time here on the defensive. Beginning to push out, though. Only the two spearmen at the back. Archer's going to look to try and tee them off. Nice little approach coming in. No skewer's going to hit and manages to take out every single one of those spearmen before a single hit comes through on the Sapahi. Immediately pops that fortitude and looks like Faye should be able to take out these archers without too much hassle at all. Faye, don't attack the scout. Attack the archers. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we've got more units beginning to move around here. A little bit of a spearman towards the south side. Plenty of units streaming across that map. Still archer. Archer. Lots of archers coming in this way. And there's the spearman. Got the meta coming up the front here. It looks like it's going to be the attack speed bonus. Going to be careful not to lose that Sapahi. here. Uh, we don't know what direction. Actually, we do know what direction Faye went with. It looks like she's gone with Anatolian hills early on. Archer looking to try and take out a villager. Doesn't look like they're going to find it for the moment. We'll ride back on board with GUA as we still see a distinct absence of villagers on that goal. But one thing to note is we do have an outpost coming up on the gold. And to me, if that signals anything, it's he's going to stop making units and he's going to begin transitioning villagers over to gold. It's time for a castle age. I can smell it a mile away with these guys. And indeed, you can see GUA beginning to transition villas. It's not a huge amount. Only three villagers for the moment. So we do have units coming in. I would have expected like seven or eight villas to transfer over here. But I mean... I don't, I don't, it's, it's always tough with GUA. You never know. With G, look at this. GUA, uh, as the Holy Roman Empire throws down the second archery range in the Feudal Age. Absolutely unheard of stuff coming out from him. But slowly but steadily applies that pressure towards the front. It's important to note that those resources in the back have now been freed up. The berries, the gold. And look, you can see right away, Faye is straight onto that gold. She knows what she's up to. Just a handful. I say just a handful. I mean a handful of villagers on the gold. Uh, for the moment, that'll be easily enough to get her up. And then you can see these 17 vills on food, of course. And now look at this. Faye looking to try and pull GUA back towards his base. Say, hey, stay away from my base. GUA, come over here. Come on, let, let's have a party over here, GUA. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like the party is indeed going to be had by GUA. He's got to be careful, though. 
he might uh, might lose a couple of units here. We, we know that there's reinforcements coming through from the Stealth Forest. Fortunately, it looks like Faye will be able to get away and uh, and manage to, to scoot the butt away from it. Looks like the Sapahi will go down. <laughs> I love the hit and run on, on the uh, the Archer. That was quite good. Just Everybody just turns, stabs, and keeps on moving. Turn, stab. <laughs> that's actually quite funny. Uh, you got to be... That, that's definitely the way to do it, running up the reinforcement line, just turning around and one-shotting every Archer that you get the chance to unfortunately meet uh but uh looks like GUA may have changed his decision about going i mean maybe he was just never going for a castle age he's only got the or he's got double broad axe coming through at the moment so looking for some early eco upgrades and look at all of these snipes coming through from Faye. these are really really nice i gotta say i admire that kind of play if she can keep these alive i don't think it's likely that she'll go for it oh does lose the sapahi uh, she could look to try and get the imams in here because her next vizier point should be coming any second in fact um so she could look to get the imams. I don't think it's worth it, though. I think it's better off going for that. Look look at that timing right there. That's an Ottoman main. You can tell him. You can tell that is an Ottoman main. I've got no indication on the UI at all that there's a, a Vizier point coming in. I can just, I can sense it. It's like a sixth sense. You know, they say the sixth sense is the one with the, the, the kid that sees the dead people. Well, it's the guy that sees the dead people. Well, te technically, it's the dead guy. Wait, hold on. It's the kid who sees the dead people, isn't it? Because at the end, he's the dead one. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's the one. That, that, that's the one, yeah. He, wait, I don't, I don't remember that movie. No, isn't the kid dead? Ah, man, I, I don't remember. Anyway, that's not the real sixth sense. The real sixth sense is Vizier points. Let's have a look and see what the op option is going to be taken for Faye here. It doesn't look like she's gone into the Imams. If she had, these units would be full health. Uh, I'm, I'm still going to be wondering about the sixth cent sense for quite some time. I, I, don't don't write it in the comments. Don't do it. I, I will go and I will Google it immediately after this video. I need to know. It is bothering me. Because uh, he says, the, the little kid, he says, I see dead people. And that's like the catchphrase, right? That, that we all said for 15 years afterwards. So if he's saying he that's his secret and he sees dead people... Yeah, at the end, then that guy's got to be dead. Yeah, okay. All right. I, we solved it. We solved it. Because, yeah. Anyway. So if you haven't seen it, you missed out on a wonderful movie. And I spoiled it for you. So I'm not going to spoil this game for you. That is for sure. In fact, you're going to be spoiled with this game. I'll say that much. It is going to be an absolute cracker. I'm confident we're going to see Imperial Ages coming through shortly. Have a look at the difference in army size. And hold on a minute. GOA decided, hey, we're going to just... We're going to load the gun and just go for it. Faye now with the age up. Let's have a look and see how quickly she looks to throw down a monastery and see whether she can snipe away some of these relics. That's going to be the big question because GUA, oh, GUA is still only on one prelate at the moment. GUA, not the kind of guy to make a prelate spam, is he? he he's, he's quite happy just sitting on one, one relic. Do we have a Regnitz? We have a Regnitz coming down. So Elevenville is going to be putting that one down. Not a bad little timing here. But now Faye under pressure once again on the stone. She's picked up 204 which should be enough to get her up to those four military schools. Keep in mind, she can make four as long as she's taken military campus, which I suspect she has, because we don't see anything else that she could have taken. We don't see the meta out on the field with the extra movement speed. Uh, it's just, you know, no movement speed. Um, that's the first point. We don't see the imams. So it's got to be the military school. I mean, there are, there are other options, but it's highly unlikely that you go for trade bags at this point or siege works. Just doesn't really make a lot of sense here. But now, Faye... Look at look at the amount of ills she's got on gold. Oh, she's totally doing it. She's totally doing it, dude. We're getting we're getting ourselves another fast imp. It's gonna happen. Look at the camp up coming from GUA. Very aggressive here. Have we got prelates out here already? Let's let's double check. He's got one prelate, one in queue from on the TC at the moment. Regnet's about to finish. Should have this prelate. Where is that prelate? Up to the north? GUA, don't tell me, don't tell me it's in the Arkan still. Mmm. GUA, I am going to smack you. You're empowering like seven seven villages, GUA. Get on out there, my friend. Get your relics. All right. New Age has begun. Let's check in with him. See how he's doing. Plenty of prelates in, in queue now. He says, don't worry, Drongo. Don't worry. I got it now. More and more units coming out, though. I think that's one of the things he's got going for him is, you know, Faye's invested a lot in her infrastructure, whereas GUA's invested a lot in his units. It gives him a good standing army, and it means that he'll be able to contest these relics pretty effectively. And I would be surprised if... Faye gets more than one relic. I, I think one relic is about what is going to happen here. We can see that she has actually dropped the mosque down. Yet to pick up a relic, but it is rallied out for the moment. And GUA, I think GUA suspects this. We can tell just by the position of his army. Veterancy not coming through for any units just yet. But we do see plenty more horsemen in queue. And I think GUA is just going to let her have that one relic over towards that west corner. Archers now. Coming through. 
Prelate will pick up the first of the relics. Second one towards that top side. Hold on. Wait. Never mind. I take it back. There, there's there was a relic in the middle. Where is the relic in the middle? There's Bay picking up the fur that fur. Oh, there's two relics at the top. Oh, what is this? What is this spawn? Oh my lord! I just realized. Look at this. You got two relics at the top. And then the third one right here. Ja damn, GUA had a good spawn. I mean, it's a good spawn if you've got the military advantage, right? Not not particularly good. Wallalol, -la -la. this is a good wallalol. -la -la. You can't snipe this. You've got to back out from this. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. You're fine, you're fine. All right, now back in. Go on. Just go in for the snipe. Nice and quick. That's all you want to do. We hear those extra relics being picked up. There it goes. Does Faye look to bring a prelate out? Or rather, an imam? She does. But all of the military is coming out here for GUA now. So it looks, looks like a decent spot at the moment for GUA. If he can get four relics, he'll be very happy with that. Because he almost certainly said, you can have this relic, I'll let you. But I'm going to take all four of the other relics. And there's no way that Faye gets to keep this. Unless there is some brutal mistake from... Uh, or I, I guess I could say like a negligent mistake from GUA. This should almost be certainly... And that, that puts him in a really good spot for the late game. Uh, I, I think to have an Imperial Age with four relics, you're pretty happy with yourself. And look at this, straight away coming back towards the Sacred Sites, looking to try and capitalize on that military advantage that he's got. But one of the things to note is Faye has started printing units at this point. Obviously, the Blacksmith's been up. Three military schools are down. MIA is here. Where's that fourth military school? Don't tell me she went for Siege Works. Where is, where is it? I'm, I'm looking for the mango. Where's the mango? I, I swear there used to be a mango around here. Unfortunately, the Imam, he is going to have a bit of a tough time right here. Oh, she went Genissary Company? No, no, she didn't. There's a single Genissary in there. I got really excited for a second. I'm like, Genissary Company in 2023? No, no way. Uh, I mean, yes way, but just not not this early normally. This is a pretty early Genissary Company, so I was surprised. Where, there was a mango on the field. I don't know where it's gone. There, okay, there it is. Is that the... Yeah, that, that's, that's the starting mango. More units coming through. And we do start to see that build-up happening. Faye taking a really bad engagement there. Losing a lot of units. This gives GUA a really good window here. I think GUA can definitely go Imperial at this point. He's so far ahead on the military numbers. And he's going to be able to pick up more here. You can see Faye really struggling to get these out alive. Picks up that third relic. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. One relic here. Two relics here. No. No. No! Ha no! How? No! No, 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 no! You did not! How do you get this? How? GUA! I literally said you had to make the most negligent mistake to let Faye get that relic. How? How did you do it? But I think he realizes. I think he knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows he's done. been done dirty right here. GUA! I can't believe you letting her get those away like that. You have... You have triple the military GUI. You can't be letting her sneak these ones out like that. And look now, he manages to spot it. Says, Oi, you get back here. But it feels like at this point, it's it's JoJo's hit single from 2004 all over again. He's just going to run past. He says, you know what? It is too little too late. And now towards the front, the Manganel's looking to fire off towards that back line. Finding a nice double shot there. It looks like a horseman's going to go down as well. Relic in the back of the base. No chance you're recovering that one. Good luck, mate. You might as well try and destroy the mo the mosque and take the relic out of that one. That is the likelihood of that. And look at the gold that Faye's got stacked up. Let's switch it over to income per minute just to get a real idea of where they're at. You can see it looks like GUA is having a tilt towards that Imperial as well. Faye's numbers, I think as long as she doesn't move out from her base, she should be... Oh, Faye went for a keep. Oh my lord, get out of town. What are her upgrades? Oh damn, Faye's going for upgrades as well. Oh, we got tier ones. Oh no, that's GUA. Never mind. We do have tier ones, it's, but it's uh, it's woodworking. Woodworking, woodcutting. It's, 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 it's the forest one, guys. It's the forest one. Look at the damage from the mangoes. Absolutely ludicrous. No spring wood emplacement. Double shots coming off. Nice little bit of damage there. At the same time, towards the top side, villagers. She's managed to keep majority of them alive. Oh my lord. Oh, the Genissaries. Oh, the Genissaries. I wish we could see which Vizier points she's taken. But I'm going to assume that we're going... Oh, I think she might just be producing Genissaries at the archery range. Because this isn't a lot of Genissaries. Wait, where's the fourth military school? There should be a fourth one. If she went into military campus, which I'm assuming she did, because she sure as shit didn't go into trade bags. You'd be crazy to do that at this point. 
So she had to have. And we know that she hasn't gone for Siege Cruise because that would be zero out of zero out of one on each of these bad boys. And it's not. G away. Got to be careful. Don't throw away. Age Up's coming through at the same time. Istanbul Observatory. Palace of Swab. You're both before 20 minutes. That is your Fast Imperial threshold. We are seeing a double Fast Imperial today. It is the Imperial off Swabia in the wood line. Observatory Istanbul style. Uh, it's it's not in the wood line. It's, it's, it's in the back line. You got the back line. You got the wood line. And you got the conga line. Uh, it's not really a conga line. They, they don't really... Uh, do you guys remember? I don't know. There, there was one game that was played a long time ago. Uh, Age of Empires 4, Hera. And Hera... I, I put it on the thumbnail. Like, insane new strategy. Hera had maybe like 40 knights. And instead of attack moving them, he just... I think he like individually attacked one unit. And that unit was behind the lines of the enemy. And they all of <laughs> all of Hera's knights just conga lined around the enemy front line, and it was like <laughs> Hera just lost in like the space of, gosh, it must have been like 17 seconds, and it was all gone. And he's like, I, I reckon he just must have thought he a moved and then just looked away, like went and dealt with the idols, and he came back and everything was gone. Anyway, anyway, that's all you needed to know. Imperial Age has come through. No way, she's not going for Randy. Oh lord, she's not going for Randy. You can't be. Not like this. <laughs> oh my god, what kind of game have we got ourselves into? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Elite. Uh, we've got elite upgrades starting to come through. Elite Men at Arms going to be the first one she starts off with. All the military schools are now on Janissaries, by the way. So hopefully we're going to see the Janissary. Oh, we've already got the elite Janissary upgrade through. My mistake. Uh, we, we have already got that one through. Sacred Victory approaching, by the way. Eight minutes on that one. On the other side of the map, Elite Spearman coming through for GUA. We'll ride on board with him as he looks to pick up more and more upgrades. Tithe Barns coming through. Remember, three relics against two. That is... Look, it's nice having three relics, but you could have had four. You could have had four. You could have had four GUA, and it just it feels painful knowing that that's the one that got away. Anyway, we'll ride back on board with Faye. See how she's doing on this defense towards the top side. Und under pressure here, the Genesary is looking to try and keep it together. Unfortunately, the Spears do pretty decently against them. Uh, no micro there. It's going to be no problem. She'll, she'll clean it up later. Meanwhile, the Mangonels are dealing with the cavalry threat in the, uh, in the wood line. Pretty efficiently cleaned up. And we do start to see that farm transition coming through now for Faye. She's got a few berries available for her on the south side, but they're a bit far away. We start to hear GUA deleting what I can only assume indeed it is. It's lumber camps. And now the transition's coming through. GUA opting for more... Archery Rangers, what is this? Man, the, did, did GOA not get the memo about Holy Roman Empire players not having to make ranged units? Don't, isn't the, isn't the Holy Roman Empire just like horsemen and knights and Lansconnect and spearmen? Is, isn't that all you guys need to make? Uh, look, I, I'm not a Holy Roman Empire main, but I'm pretty sure that's what you make. Mangonel's off the back line, doing a decent job. And I, I think that's why Faye is going into the Randys because more Randys... These guys do melee. Well, not they don't do melee damage, but they but they do they deal with melee pretty effectively. She's trying to find one of these sacred sites here. It looks like she'll get the one on the south side. More units coming in. The first of the Mangonels has gone down. Second one is going to go down. Third one, it looks almost certain to go down. And she will neutralize this sacred site. But at what cost? She's lost a lot of that defensive bonus. Giwei now looking to put down a keep in the center of the map. Hand cannon is always oh, going into hand cannon. Is. Oh, of course. Okay, that makes total sense. All right, uh, there was a part of me that was wondering what the hell is going on here? Like, what the heck? Uh, but we we know we have the answer to our question. Sacred, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses, ladies and gentlemen. The cavalry is still here. Uh, well, technically, it's not anymore. It's, it's gone. More deleting coming in. It's just GUA, don't worry. It's just uh, GUA deleting mining camps. Oh, sorry. I just gave you guys a little bit of a bang there. Didn't, that was not intentional. And now towards that center, it looks like it's been held. Top side's been held. Main one is going to be this one at the bottom. And hold your... Oh, my Lord. That's a lot of units. Prelates coming through. They've, they've got this nice little buff on each of the spearmen here. You can't see it for some reason. They're not glow. There we go. There they are. Inspired. Extra armor. Little bit of extra attack as well. And it looks like Giway might actually be able to hold this. He's still got six minutes left on the sacred side. So it's phase not... You know, it's not over Red Rover just yet, but it looks like GUA is going to hold this. Numbers not in advantage for uh, for GUA, which is interesting. Sacred Sight in the north now going to be contested. We got Randy up here. 
He's looking to hold it down. I, man, I wish we could see the kill count. Oh my god. Can I just put that out there? I, I know that there are some devs that watch my videos. Can you just put this on the list? Unit kill count. I just want to see it, man. Like, just make it so if I click Randy right now, it says, like, kills, 47. And then if I select all of these units, it's like, kills, 416. And then, you know, maybe I go like that, and then it's like, kills, 26. Kills, 47. Zero kills. And then the Janissaries are the ones that are on, like, 300. That's like, it's a, it's a very small thing, but it would be cool. It'd be cool. I'm looking forward to that coming out in, um, in 2031. Uh, that <laughs> that'll be that'll be good. Sorry, I sh I shouldn't I shouldn't. Uh, it'd be twenty thirty two. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> I love you guys. Anyway, uh, look, I, I I will say this much. I wish that the feature team for Age of Empires four was as active as the balance team was for, for Age of Empires four, because th there are so many features that I want to add to Age of Empires four. Wait, what are we? What do we got here? We got ourselves a little bit of an aggressive Randy right now. Oh no, Randy's getting up on top of the on top of the ropes here. What are we gonna do here, Randy? Don't do him like that. We got upgrades coming through. We got a little bit of a fortification. We got a cannon emplacement potentially coming through here. Look at dude, Randy is just on the hunt, dude. Faye is hunting right now with a single Rebolder Quinn. She's like, come at me. We there is a culverin out for GUA. I don't know where it is. Is she is she trying to bait the culverin to the backside and then she's just going to maul it with something? Oh, look at this. The villagers. Seconds before disaster. This is just like the Titanic with the iceberg right now. These villagers, <laughs> they're about to be thrown into the water. Sorry, guys. I got bad news for you. There's not enough lifeboats for all of you. And by all of you, I mean absolutely none of you. There is no lifeboats because we're on land and you're up against the man. I'm talking about Randy right now. Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> look at him go. Dude, how is Faye doing this? This is not... Did the sacred site get captured? Oh, oh yeah, it got neutralized. Of course, Randy did that. Randy that... Oh, God, Randy! No, oh, Randy! <laughs> He's gone down. It looks like he took a couple of horsemen with him, trying to get his weight's worth in, in cavalry, it seems. But Janissaries on the back. looking to try and tee off towards the villagers. Speaking of villagers, look at the villager count at the moment. About 40 difference between them. 40? Yeah, 40. 40 the difference. Janissaries will get cleaned up towards the middle of the map. The Great Bombard's come out. He said, hey, how you doing? Oh, was that the play? Oh, was that actually the play? Oh, that's big brain. That is big brain. Faye comes around the top side, loops all the way around the base, knowing that the culverin will inevitably follow. As long as you come back here with your culverin, I'm happy. Why am I happy? I'm happy because I can attack you with the front with my Great Bombard. And then it's going to take so damn long for you and that pesky culverin to get back here. I don't even know where they are. Where? Where is the culverin? Can I get a can I get a culverin check on aisle? No, that's a mangano. There's the culverin. You can see we still got we got plenty of way. There's no way this emergency repairs last. You're gonna have to pull the vills. The vills do get pulled, so Faye getting really good value here. Now that the vills are gonna have to slowly but steadily eat away at that stone. You can see the numbers here not looking the best. A little bit of an attack down towards the south. GOA trying to get these walls up and control those flanks a little bit. Bring that bring that fight to the middle. And now oh, the keep is under pressure. 800, 900 culverins coming through here. You can see it ta tasked onto it, but I think the next shot, the keep will go down. Culverin's going to come in right at the last second, but it's not going to matter as the keep goes down. Beautiful strategy coming through. Wonderful tactics coming through from Faye right there. You got to really appreciate that. She gets away by the skin of her teeth and not a single shot more. And she would have, she would not have had that. That was literally the last shot. She took one culv shot with that as well. And now we can see the villagers get pulled. She's going to be okay, boys. The, the bombard's gonna be okay. And this is this is what we've been waiting for. Uh, as, as I said, in the YouTube comments, there were two that stood out to me. Number one was that pros will never do this. Number two was that, what was number two? Oh yeah, Holy Roman Empire would destroy the Ottomans in a fast Imperial off. Well, now we're about to find out if you were right, YouTube commenter. Uh, it, it probably wasn't that bad. It was probably something like, well, technically I think Holy Roman Empire should do pretty well in the late game. It's like, yeah, I agree with you. Like they got, hey man, we, we're on the same team here, buddy. We're on the same team. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be fighting you. You, you always want to, can I, I'll give you guys a bit, some advice, some Drongo advice. Before you get into an argument with somebody, you need to clarify what their, po what their position is. Because there's nothing worse than getting into an argument with somebody and then having had the same point from the beginning. That's terrible. I, <laughs> it's not my proudest moment, but I can tell you I have done that before. 
Uh, and it, it's it's embarrassing when you walk away from the argument and you're like, this wasn't actually an argument. We, we were just agreeing with each other very angrily. Uh, <laughs> Bombard's now looking to try and find something they agree with. Culverin's just going to force them back. We can see they've... If, if I remember correctly, they should three-shot this with... There should be like a tiny little bit of health left over. Culverin's come through! Culverin's get sniped out! Huge shots coming through! GOA not paying attention at all! And now that rest, the rest of the military is just going to eat it alive. GOA in the space of two seconds loses a Culverin. Fortunately, he's got alien technology back here. Never mind. It's, it's real-world technology just with an alien twist. Look at it go! How does it hover? Where is its propulsion? I don't see the wheels. I don't see a jet engine. I don't see any sort of propulsion here. I have... Conf oh, never mind. There's the wheels. Okay. <clears throat> it was a bird. Uh, that, that's what that's what the alien subreddit will say. It was a bird. No, no, no. That's not the alien subreddit. Who's that? It, it was a bird. That's uh. <laughs> what's the name of the debunker? Oh, he, he's he, honestly he's really good. I I do like him. There's this famous debunker. He debunks everything. He's like, that's a bird. Oh no, you could just say it's like the U.S. government, right? Like that's swamp gas right there that we we just witnessed. There's not, not didn't look anything like it. Anyway, the UFO guys will totally understand what I'm talking about. Everyone else is going to be like, what the fuck is this guy on? Uh, <laughs> anyway, Janissary's doing well in the back line here. You send cavalry to deal with them. Mm -mm, that is not the correct answer, my friend. They are going to get mowed down. Villagers, they're going to be up next. And FaZe pushing at the front. We're 30 minutes through this game, and I'm starting to get a little bit worried about GUA because he's got all the tools at his disposal. The question is going to be whether he's going to be able to use them correctly. You know what they say? It's not about how big it is. It's about how you use it. And GUA, if you're going to ram it in like that, mate, it just ain't going to fit. It ain't going to do it. And there's the first, there's the second culverin out. So numbers starting to look good. Has he picked up chemistry just yet? Let's check and see whether we've got any universities back here. There's a university. No chemistry just yet. So we don't have that extra little bit of damage coming through on the culverin. On the other side, Faye, yet to pick up Siege Works, I say. 30 seconds to go, baby, until she's in. An extra 20% health. Good luck taking out the Bombards in once they're in. And look at this slow, methodical push with Outpost. Just Outpost after Outpost after, well, dead Outpost, but you guys get the picture. It's a slow push. It's a methodical push. It's that extra little bit of line of sight that just keeps you safe from these inevitable snipes that will come off from the Culverin. You've got to be so careful with them. And now Faye, 200 out of 200 population, pushes in towards her opponent at 99 villagers. Looking to unload. Got to be careful there. She takes a couple of shots, but manages to get all of the Bombards out alive. Holding on for dear life. We enter into the cinematic mode as once again, Faye looks to hold, hold. GUA pushing through big numbers here. Manganel firing off as well. Nice little decent amount. Oh my God, look at the size of that thing. So many reinforcements coming in now towards this position. The, the Bombards, Bombards, you got to get back here. We're having a fight, Bombards. We need your help over here, Bombards. All right, they've decided to come back in. Good work. Good, good, good stuff. Now, the question is going to be whether Faye looks to go into Springlords. Because this is one of the things I always throw up when I'm doing my fast Imperials. I'm like, should I go into Springlords here? 12 range Springlords? Or should I just go ham on the Bombards? And I still don't know the answer to that question. Because there's a part of me that's just like, ram it in there deep. Just get the Bombards and just right click all the Culverin. And that, that seemed to work for me for the most part. But I do like adding in Springlords. The problem is Springlords versus Culverin is just never pretty. But I guess in reality, it's like, it's win-win for you if they target your culverin. Or if they target your springles, then your bombards are firing. And if they target your bombards, then your culv or your springles should be able to beat their culverin, which means that your next round, hopefully, you should win. I mean, but then they'll have more culverin, then you have more bombards, and then you just l keep recycling. So probably that doesn't work. It's not win-win. Anyway, bombards un unloading. Managed to find it. Beautiful shots coming through and fade with the micro straight away. Continuing to push up. She's 200 out of 200. GUA stacking up 11,000 food right now. But still training. Oh, 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 I can't stand this. I can't stand it. I hate it. Oh, man. You got 11,000 food in the bank. You know what you should be making? There's two units. Number one, horsemen. Number two, spearmen. That's it. That's it. You just flood all of that trash out onto the field. Anything that's really food heavy, you want to use that. I mean, you can make crossbows as well. That works perfectly. You just need numbers right now. You want to fill that population gap. You want to try and get that up to 100%. Look at this little nifty counterattack coming through down on the south side. Faye trying to draw GUA away again from the main battle, doing it successfully. The Bombards continue to push up here. No relic on the ground. GUA still with three in the back pocket, but the Swabia will be contested shortly. Keep in mind, GUA sitting at pretty close to that max pop at the moment. Still doesn't have that wall all the way around. And I, I bet you right now he's wishing he maybe deleted a stable, extend that wall up a little bit so he knows he doesn't have to run down here repeatedly. He's kind of mixed himself up a little bit here. Bombard's firing off. Managed to find some decent shots, but phew, I didn't even see it. It was that quick. Culverin say, hey, there's no repairing for you, buddy. You're just getting sniped out tonight. 
Big shots coming through. Looking for the next volley. Will he find it? Not going to look for it. Down towards that south side. Mangadel's firing off. Looks like, oh my god, the numbers here for Faye. Are, oh god, look at the numbers for Faye. Faye's absolutely just rinsed G away. I didn't even realize. Down here on the south side, going to be able to clean this up. And now 35 minutes into this game, G away looks like he may be in trouble in this fast Imperial race. Slowly but steadily, Faye just started clawing apart. And I can't help but feel like the most pivotal moment of this match was taking out the keep in the center. And it wouldn't have been if it was, it, it all came down to that big brain play. Just building a single Rebaldequin, marching it across the map and baiting out the enemy. The greatest bait in history right there. That was, that was some good stuff. Stonewall towards the north. A little bit of an opening here. Vils should be able to make a run through and indeed they do. A couple of them will get taken out in the crossfire. You can see the face decided to do the, something similar to what GUA has. So hopefully GUA is just gonna realize and just throw down the, the lumber camp like he's doing. It looks like he keeps his head above water for the moment. Score difference, not that di not that significant. 600 points between them. Faye, not a lot of resources in the bank, but she does have a lot of passive production. Oh my God, she's trading. Oh my Lord, she's trading. Only 24 gold though. That, that ain't that ain't big numbers. I'll say that much. This, That's not really trade. That's that's like trading. That's probably not even trading. It's like tra just trad. The, the, you don't even, maybe just trade. Maybe you don't even get the D. <laughs> you don't even get the D and the E in in the tray. It is it is just she's just doing tra. Uh, th this is this is weak. This is weak trade. Uh, ideally, this market uh, for anybody wondering when when your trading post spawns in the middle like this, you just want to put your uh, your market as far away as you can. So you want to try and still do that diagonal. That's the best way you can do it. Anyway, Genissary numbers on the back line doing a nice little bit of a raid. I tell you what, after the games that we've seen this week, it's going to put all those... Oh my god, he just tapped out. He just said goodnight. He said he's had enough, and that is it. Faye just slowly and steadily does it. Death by a thousand cuts. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out these two creators. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can watch Faye live over on Twitch, where you can watch GUA live over on Twitch. They're probably both streaming right now, playing against each other right now, and pre-order the Sultan's Ascent DLC expansion.